So, we are watching Jesus, and we're looking at the Passover, and we're looking at midnight. So, we're looking at Exodus chapter 20, and as we watch Jesus in the sanctuary, what's going on, we have things to learn from this ceremony that happened back then. It was a life-saving ceremony. Verses 3 through 6 of Exodus chapter 20 point us to the lamb without blemish. The lamb that was sacrificed with the Passover had to be a lamb without blemish. It could also be a goat, but it had to be without blemish. And in the book of Hebrews, it, it talks throughout the book of Hebrews about Jesus being our sacrifice, our lamb without blemish. So then we look at verse seven, the blood on the doorposts, once again, we are covered with Christ's righteousness when we come here. But in this time, they had to have the blood on the doorpost when the destroying angel with the slaughtering weapon came through. So it was a life-saving uh, thing to do that. At uh, verse 8, they were eating the bitter herbs. They were also eating bread uh, that was unleavened. When you look at Exodus, uh, further into Exodus chapter 12, this relates to John chapter 6, where Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Um, eat from me. Eat the words that I say. Eat what I'm sh sharing with you. Uh, be a part of me. But there were 70 disciples who left him at that time. They didn't want to hear about that. Okay. And it also relates to uh, Revelation chapter 10, where it talks about eating the little book. Um, and that relates to our time and also the Millerite time. So uh, we are to eat the little book, the book that is found in Daniel and Revelation. We are, and to read and study these things and understand. And it's sweet in our mouth, but bitter. Or, sweet in our mouth but bitter in our in our stomach so there's a cost as we study this because most of the world don't want to hear about these things okay um and uh it also relates to daniel daniel ate the little book also so um then in verse 11 dressed at midnight they were fully dressed and ready to journey they were dressed with fully clothed their shoes on their feet uh, a staff in their hand for a long journey, packed and ready to go. And these are things that happened before midnight. This was what they needed to do before midnight. They needed to be ready. And then in verse 12, the destroying angel came. And that destroying angel killed the firstborn, uh, who did not have the blood on the doorpost, representing Jesus. Um, and that relates to Ezekiel chapter 9. We'll come back and talk about that. Uh, verse 13, those who were passed over who did not have the destroying angel, um, who executed judgment, they were passed over because of the blood on the doorpost. Okay, now come back to verse 10. Nothing remains in the morning. They were eating the, the lamb. They were eating the unleavened bread. Um, all these things represented uh, being cleansed, uh, ready. Uh, nothing remained in the morning. It was burned by fire. Of course, it needed to be. I mean, you know, you don't leave a without a refrigerator or something. You don't leave meat out. But uh, this represents some things in the end of time. So... And then in verse 37, they made a journey. And then going back to verses 15 through 20, um, it talks about the unleavened bread, which represents being cleansed from sin, uh, confessing our sins, not having any impurity in our life. And this was something that needed to happen. And this ceremony became a part of Jewish culture, until Jesus came, and then in John 13, Jesus said, now there's a new ceremony that is about the Passover, and it's it's the ceremony of remembering him by washing feet, 
by confessing sins, by um, drinking the wine and uh, the bread in the communion ser service that celebrates his coming and what we're looking for now. And that's a ceremony that we're to be doing now. That's a solemn assembly. So once again, this happened before midnight here. This happened at midnight. And these things happened after midnight. So there we have it in Exodus chapter 12. I'm going to come back and say a few other things. Thank you.